The first supermoon of 2021 is dazzling the world tonight. If you look out of your window, you'll probably notice that the moon appears to be bigger than usual. It's a spectacular show. But this year, there are no spectators. Most of the world is under stay-at-home orders. Iconic landmarks were deserted as the supermoon emerged in their backdrop. Take a look. A tinge of pink bathed the world today. Over the empty streets of Germany. Over the still waters of the Bosphorus. And over the rising tide at Bondi Beach. The supermoon dazzled in the skies. But the people below were in crisis mode. Usually, such celestial events are much celebrated. There are viewing parties, packed roofs, and stargazers glued to their telescopes. But this year was different. With half the world under some kind of lockdown, the moon's spectacular show was for an empty gallery. This was the first supermoon of 2021. Scientists are expecting at least one more this year. It is a rare phenomenon, but a simple one to grasp. The moon's orbit around the Earth is elliptical. So the distance between the moon and Earth keeps changing. A supermoon must satisfy two conditions. One, it must be a full moon. And two, it must be closest to Earth on its elliptical orbit. When this happens, the moon appears bigger and brighter than usual. Hence the name supermoon. Another name you've probably heard is pink moon. But the color has nothing to do with the name. It comes from a pink flower, phlox, which blooms around this time. If you saw a tinge of pink tonight, it wasn't the moon, but the pollution around you filtering the moonlight. If you missed this supermoon, don't worry, because the next one is on May 26th. Scientists are calling it the closest supermoon of the year. Granted, this isn't the best time for stargazing. But amid all this gloom, a lunar spectacle should come as a relief. A sign that we're all in this together. Because when the moon takes over the sky, it's light for all. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.